we're working with very steep and slippery ground. And I'm not sure if this is a good idea. Hey guys, I wanted to record this intro before I get too tired. We are hiking in to a new spot that I saw on Google Maps. It's about 10 miles up from the river where I normally prospect. So we're taking this road I seen. That's a service road, but um, looks like nobody's been on it for a long time. I do see some prints. Hopefully they're bobcat and not mountain lion, but we're gonna do about a mile and a half hike in and a mile and a half hike out. I just started, I'm already out of breath and uh, got all this gear, got my bucket. So hopefully we find some gold. Oh, I'll probably see you guys if I see something or if we end up making it to the spot. So see you guys there. We're definitely on a lot of very slippery rock. I don't see very good gravels or anything. Um, all this rock is very slippery and then I don't know if there's even a place I could set up a sluice. Maybe work this hole right here. See some sand right there. Uh, I don't know. Could try maybe hiking up a little bit, but I might do some test pans and see if there's even a, a little bit of color or if I hiked all the way down here for nothing. It's also um, spring runoff, so there's a good chance most of the water or most of the gold is gonna be over there in that middle part. So I don't know. Let's try. I did a little bit of panning here and there, and I realized that this spot's a little wide, and that there's actually a lot of tiny bits of flower gold. There was a little rough piece of gold, so the goal is to try my best to make my way up the river to where there's some pools that hopefully gold has got stuck in. Um, which I'm gonna regret, I already hiked about a mile and a half. <laughs> What's another half mile, I guess, up the river? Maybe another mile, I don't know. But hopefully up higher is where we can find better gold. If not, we'll head back and try another place. I just seen a little king snake or a grass snake. I'm not sure where he went. I'm not trying to bother him or not, but hopefully he doesn't get too mad. He's under that rock right there. But this looks amazing. There's gravel right there. I could set up a sluice in that running water. And I'm so glad I brought these. I almost didn't bring my rubber boots. I should have brought my waders. And I was thinking, nah, I won't need my waders. But this spot looks promising. Look at this. We could set up a sluice in this. I wish I brought my waders. Damn. I'm going to be regretting this later. They were kind of heavy. So I was thinking, nah, I don't need to bring them. And I wish I brought a fishing pole too. But let me look up here and see what we got. A little higher up. That looks promising, all that gravel right there. All this I could try working. There's some gravel bars right here. Could have some gold. I think I'll stick to where I'm right here and work all this and see if I can't get me some gold. So yeah. Whew. All right, guys, here's a quick update. We tried this spot where it flattened out and no gold just little tiny bits i tried over here um a pan nothing so um i know probably if you're not finding gold you probably should turn around but i don't know if i'm gonna regret this but i'm gonna see how far i could go before I can't go any further and there's a bend up there in that valley um which might be promising for some big pools so i know there is gold in this river the problem is, I believe um, there's a road up there and 
<laughs> the, now that I'm looking at it, originally the idea was to hike down um, from that road, but it is steep cliffs. So there's no way. So we'll see how far we could get. We're working with very steep and slippery ground. And I'm not sure if this is a good idea. Um, but we'll keep going. My main worry now is more snakes than anything. So the new goal, I'll see how far I get before I decide this is a bad idea, which it's already looking like it. I don't know. New goal is to go up to where that water's coming down. So still gonna try. Maybe I take a little bit higher ground. A little bit of a deer trail. But I think they have more balance than me. You know? And it just rained a couple days ago. So the problem is this ground is soft. But this tra little trail is helping a lot. So if we don't find any gold at that, that next spot, we are definitely turning around and hiking back. This ground is thick. I can't see where I'm stepping. I don't know if there's holes, snakes. What we're stepping on could be a drop. There's the trail. These deers left me a trail, so I'm just following it past that huge pool. And I think, here's my theory, that pool up there where all the gold drops in. And so above it has to be some gold better than just the little bits of flood and flower gold I'm finding. So we'll keep going. All I can say is this view is definitely beautiful. Maybe if you're going just for the hiking, yeah, but to trek all this gear in, um, it's definitely a pain, but hopefully it's worth it in the end. And if not, we got a good video out of it. So we keep going. So I just want to show you where I have to hike back after I'm done getting past this pool. I got to hike over that hill. There's a power line there on the other side of the hill about a mile and a half. I'm sure you guys, I'm trying to climb here. These hills are atrocious. Sweat is going down my face like crazy. <sighs> We're going over the ridge. I'm almost tempted to jump in that water now. Well, this view is worth it. Go panning, I don't know. All right, I'm tired. Um, I still, it's only about 10, 11 o'clock and I still have some time. I really want to go down there and tr try to prospect. It's spring runoff, so anything I'm gonna find might not be worth get getting myself hurt to get down there. Uh, so maybe I'll come back in the summer, which is gonna be even worse because in the summer, what's gonna happen is this is gonna be hot, full of snakes. It's still spring, it just rains. So um, I'm not sure if that makes the rattlesnakes come out or not, but it was really cold about three days ago. So this is about as far as we made it. It looks amazing, but um, I think the goal is to go back 
um, to my car, which is all the way on the other side of this hill, about a mile on the other side of that hill. Um, I think I'm gonna go find a deer, deer trail and make my way back and I hope that I don't run into mountain lions, snakes, or ticks. I already know there's probably a few and then maybe I might work a creek that I know is on the way back. Um, I know it has gold in it. Probably find more than what you find here. Um, at, at least at this moment. I know this river is full of gold. It has a lot of it in it, uh, but we're not gonna risk going down there for about two cents worth of gold right now. In the summer, we can maybe find hundreds of dollars worth of gold when that water, that's all from snow up in the higher mountains. Once that's done in about a uh, month, I'd say that's gonna be a real tiny river and the amount of gold we're gonna find is a lot, so. All right, guys, the ground is getting steep. I can't see where I'm stepping. I've slipped so many times and almost fell. Um, I fell a couple of times. There's all this poison oak right here that's just waiting for me to fall into. I don't know if I should try to attempt to go through that or over it. I think I'll go over it, but that's not the best idea because if I fall, go straight into it. I'm not allergic to it. It's not that I know. <sighs> All right, I'm trying to. I lost the deer trail. It kind of powders out. I don't know if you can see. There's a little bit of deer, but they they have better climbing shoes than me. So you know, they got those nice pointy feet that dig into the ground. I got my old worn out <laughs> hiking boots. If any hiking boot company wants to sponsor me and send me a new pair of boots, I'll be more than happy to shout you out. But got my old worn down hiking boots. The bottoms are starting to wear out. But yeah, I'll leave my email down below. Look at all that poison oak down there. Just full of it. All right, guys, we're going to take ourselves a little break. Get some something to drink, maybe something to eat. Um, this, honestly, the view out here is beautiful, but uh, don't don't go hiking like I do. I mean, I do know this area pretty well. Here we go. Nice Gatorade. Make sure you guys stay hydrated. This view is definitely beautiful, but gotta tr start heading up the hill now. Now I've been kind of going along the side of the hill. Our next goal is to go over this mountain and go find my Jeep. I've been following a deer trail, so. We got more, so. But it's a good little break in the shade. Also, I want to thank you guys for watching and any of you that subscribed. We have a lot more content coming out. I got about another two and a half months of free time and I'll be making a lot more videos. So if you enjoy this content, please subscribe. You don't have to, but I do appreciate all the new subscribers. We just reached 4,000 and 5,000 is right around the corner. So I wanna thank you guys so much and all the people that interact with my videos. You guys are amazing. Um, I've learned so much from you guys, all the people that comment and tell me, kind of give me advice on what I could do better. I, I'm new to prospecting and um, I, Normally, I only hike up a river to go fishing, but there will be some fishing content coming up once um, this spring runoff slows down and the fishing picks up. But right now, we're doing a lot of gold panning, and it is super fun. I do want to say that I'm enjoying it. Um, but yeah, so I think we're gonna get ready to start hiking up this hill, go over this mountain. All right.
Thank you for watching. There is so much poison oak here, there. Really not sure how I made it down here without touching some. Whew. I don't know if that's poison oak. I I'm this is probably poison oak branches, but um from what I know is dormant poison oak could still get you. I don't know about dead poison oak branches so if anybody knows anything about that let me know because i have so much dead branches on me that's probably poison oak bush um been avoiding the oh boy look at this i gotta go through here's my problem got about a foot and a half antenna back here i uh, keep getting snagged on here goes the climb up the hill. Got to make it over this hill. And then we'll be on decent ground all the way back to the car. So, whew, the bugs are trying to get at me. Guess we'll just keep working up. Get the, the hill part out of the way. So I want to show you guys where I hiked to. It was that hill right there that comes down. I was at the bottom of that over the water. So we made it all the way around this, all the way over there around that hill and decided we should stop. So we're almost back to the, the so service road, we're gonna go ahead and um, walk back to the Jeep and try some other creeks possibly. And we made it. We made it to the service trail. Guys, we did it. All right. That hike was something else. Whew. Now a mile back mile I think about maybe a little more back to the car so I'll see you guys there unless I see some cows that want to trample me oh there's a lot of them look at this hopefully I don't get trampled over here just trying to pass man Ugh. Oh, there's some cows right here too. Just trying to pass. Yikes. Look at that baby and mom. All those too. Look at all them. So I'm not sure what was eaten right here. Probably a deer. Those bones are pretty big. Let me see. Yeah, there's a lot of um, coyote and looks like bobcat prints around here I passed. Yeah, there's another bone right there. So yeah, it's interesting. All right guys, we made it back. Um, it was quite a bit of a hike. I'm tired, my back hurts from all the equipment. I lugged in there into that valley. Um, honestly, the view was amazing, but if you're going for the gold, I'd wait till the spring runoff is done. That That is definitely um, not worth it. Probably, I found maybe a few cents worth of gold, if that. Um, but also, I didn't really try much. I really wanted to hike down into that valley where that water was really running and try, but yeah, I wasn't gonna risk it just just because I knew what I was gonna find is maybe a few dollars. If I come back in the summer in about a month, that river's gonna be tiny and all that where that spring runoff is gonna be full of gold. I know there's a ton of gold in this river, uh, but I wanna thank you guys for watching and thank you to all the new people that subscribed and see you guys in the next one.